Hey guys, this is Kamiguno and Comic Frontline, and today I'm talking about the Legend of Korra panel for San Diego Comic Con, and of course the big news of what's going on with the Switch pulling it off television and putting the rest of the episodes on the internet. So we do get some information of that during the panel. Uh, so yeah, let's talk about what went on. We got to see, well, I wasn't there, but if you watched the live vlogging on, I think it was Avatar and The Legend of Korra Online, they had a whole live blog of uh, the whole panel, and they showed the episode, some sketches, but again, mostly saying, hey, why did this go off television and going onto the internet? Now, let me tell you my thoughts when I first heard this. Um, I was obviously very upset just because of uh, how Nickelodeon's treating Legend of Korra. First binge watching the episodes, doing uh, two episodes each week, even though it's a half an hour show, uh, making season three go quicker than it should. We waited a whole entire year and they're making Legend of Korra really just shove it out. And usually with when uh, networks do that, it means a show's getting canceled. Now with Legend of Korra, it's already been renewed for season four, a book four. Uh, right when I think uh, book two came out, I think it got renewed uh, up until uh, book four. So we know it wasn't getting canceled, but why were they rushing Legend of Korra? And now there is the news that came out yesterday about Legend of Korra being yanked off TV and putting on the internet. Now what they said during the panel is that the reason they're doing this is because television they don't have as much of a rating as they do on the internet that means Legend of Korra's fan base is more internet wise and will watch the episodes more on the internet than they will on television yes that is true we know Legend of Korra and Avatar has a humongous fan base it has since uh, Last Airbender so Korra of course has a big fan base also on the internet on Tumblr YouTube all these different social networks it has a big fan base on television Sometimes, you know, 7 o'clock uh, at night on a Friday, people are not going to watch it. I know I'm late with my reviews a lot for a Friday because it's Friday night. It's 7 o'clock. You know, people have other things to do than watch Legend of Korra. So everyone DVRs it or watches, watches it on the internet on Nick.com the next day. So that's why they're like, hey, let's put it on the internet. Our fans can watch it any time and we're not losing those, those views because they're afraid that they're going to lose their views if they're not watching it live. So I understand that aspect, but I feel like Nickelodeon did it wrong. Why do it halfway through the season? If this was their idea the whole time, why didn't you do that in the beginning of the season? Instead of like, oh, well, let's binge episodes, uh, put them together for half of the season, then the other half, let's just put it off TV altogether. Uh, or do this for season four, not in the middle of a season. Uh, I don't even know how they're going to advertise it tonight. That's actually something I'm very excited to see. How the hell are they going to advertise that they're pulling it off television, especially for kids that watch this? I know most of the fan base is college age or, you know, high school or a little, you know, older. Uh, not a lot of kids are watching Legend of Korra, but they're still kids. It's Nickelodeon. So how are kids going to feel about this? Are they going to find it on Nick.com? Are they as internet, internet savvy? Are they into the fandom? Um, so that's really what I'm worried about is losing the kid viewers. Of course the fandom's going to watch it, but how about those other viewers that might give up on Legend of Korra? So that's something I'm very scared of. So it's a positive and a negative for having it on the internet. There is definitely was problems with how they did it, though. Um... I think they also addressed that on the panel when they snuck it in there that it's like, oh, we don't like how they did it during the middle of the season, but um, we do think it's a good idea just because of our fan base and what our fan base is all about. So in the end of the panel, they did sneak in and say, this might be our last big panel. What does that mean? Book four is probably going to be the last book. But I think a lot of Legend of Korra fans already knew that. They renewed it all the way to book four because that was going to be last season. That's how they planned it. If that's what the writers wanted to do, that's what they wanted to do. You know, that's the end of the season. I'm upset because I'm a big Legend of Korra fan. But will will we maybe see another spinoff of Avatar? Maybe. You know, it's a very popular um, fan base, a very popular show. So I'm sure over the years we'll maybe see another um, Avatar maybe another Avatar show in the future, or whatever they're going to do, how to connect it to Korra. I don't know. But they're over with Korra by book four, probably. And because they're on the internet, their, their season four panel is probably going to be a lot smaller at San Diego Comic-Con. And um, probably maybe we'll see it at New York Comic-Con. I don't know. Last year they had New York Comic-Con. I think they did mention it during the panel. I saw on Twitter that it's like, oh, we don't know if we're going to New York Comic-Con, but hopefully that'll be like our bigger panel. So that might be their biggest panel. Um, 
for season four, but we don't even know when season four is airing. So uh, there's some confusion, I think, in the core of fan base right now, exactly what's going to go on. But it seems like book four will be the last uh, book, which I'm upset, but I hope it ends on a good note. And uh, I, I really hope that Ledger Core is handled well. Uh, that way people could be, uh, you know, explore the fandom if you haven't watched Legend of Korra and actually find out what Legend of Korra is all about. Uh, so that's my thoughts on the panel. Of course, I have a review for tonight's Legend of Korra review on my channel, so be sure to check it out. Uh, this is Comic Gano. Guys, don't forget to follow me on Twitter for Comic Gano and the Rant Situations, and don't forget to like my Facebook page, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.